Hello everyone, my name is Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and today I just want to give you a sneak preview of a feature we've been working on for Construct 3. Uh, it's called Z Elevation and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you can basically move objects on the Z axis, uh, so it's a, a small amount of 3D that you can take advantage of in the editor. So objects stay flat but you can move them towards and away from the camera and as you move around you can see they sort of parallax uh, according to the 3D camera position and you might think this is kind of like what parallax does and it's true to some extent but this is really happening in 3D space now and one of the cool things about this is when you scale the, ca uh, scale the view and zoom it's moving the camera in 3D space as well so let me just show you another demo of what you can do with this. Here's a, just a silly example taken a bit further. And you can see um, the uh, sort of greenish blocks are um, have a positive Z elevation, so they come towards the camera. Um, the yellow ones are behind um, the level with a negative Z elevation and this grid drawn on here is at uh, Z equals zero so that's the usual 2D plane which your game normally happens on and you can see you get a, uh, a full 3D effect going on here and when you scale the camera it's moving it on the Z axis so your existing 2D games are actually implementing this kind of scale and zoom by moving the camera on the Z axis and we've uh, extended this to now allow you to move objects up and down on their z-axis. Um, before you get too excited, we're not going to go and make a full 3D game engine. We're not going to do a crisis uh, in Construct. Uh, there's a lot more to a real 3D engine. This is a very simple sort of just 2D engine but with a z-coordinate. Um, so all your gameplay and collisions and things will still happen in 2D as if they're on the um, the flat plane. Uh, but it creates some really cool visual effects, which we think will be interesting, uh, uh, create some uh, really impressive effects for your games. Just to demonstrate how we imagine this being used, uh, we think you can use it as a sort of super parallax um, happening in real 3D. So here I've got a, um, a version of Kiwi Story, and you can just take each layer and move them on the Z axis and create a real 3D effect and you can see now as you scroll around there's a nice parallax effect like you might have been able to get before but what's really cool about this is as you zoom it creates a real 3D effect so the camera's getting both closer and further away and you can see how it just scales and parallaxes in real 3D, which we think is pretty cool. This should create some really interesting new artistic and parallax effects, um, make them possible, and let you use an extra dimension in your games. <laughs> if you'll excuse the pun. <laughs> um, again, it's a limited kind of 3D. It's um, keeping things flat, moving them towards and away from you, uh, but we still think this is a pretty cool feature. Um, uh, it's easy to manage, you can still edit it as if everything's 2D um, and we think you will enjoy it. So stay tuned and look out for that coming up in a, in a beta release um, sometime in the new year.